Hi, welcome to my Killer Notes tutorial for Android devices. Since 2023, Killer Notes for Android has been updated with many new features on Android. So I created a new detailed tutorial for 2024. Before we get into it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Killer Notes is available for both tablets and phones. Take note that since phones and tablets have different functionalities, the versions for phone and tablet are different. To get the most updated version, however, download Killer Notes on Google Play. Killa Notes is also available on the Huawei or Samsung App Store. But payment options may be limited if you download outside of Google Play. Since Android devices have different limitations, your experience might not be completely similar to mine. For this video, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S8. So my experience might be the most similar to Samsung Tab users. When you first open the app, you'll see the Killa Notes homepage. Here is the navigation icon, which contains folders and notebooks within the folders. You can click on this plus icon to add new folders. In the upper right corner, there are three icons, Import, Store, and Settings. At the bottom, there are two icons, Note and Card. I will talk about them one by one later. Whether you're using Killa Notes for studying, journaling, or reading, it's important to learn how to keep your notes organized. There are two ways to do it. To do so, just drag a notebook to another to merge them into one folder. Don't forget to name it so you remember what's inside. Another way is to combine notes with similar themes. To do so, you can click Merge Notes to combine notes into one. Now, let's talk about how to create a new notebook. Click the Create icon page that appears is used to set up the new notebook. Killa Notes offers a variety of aesthetic covers for your notebook. You can also customize the cover by adding your own image. You can even change the page orientation from portrait to landscape with this top left button. After selecting your notebook cover, you can now select from different templates and page options and name your new notebook. Then you can kickstart your journaling or note-taking journey. There are tons of tools available on Killa Notes. Let me introduce the features to you. Here is a note I prepared. I will use this to explain the various things you can do on Killa Notes for Android. Killa Notes' recent major update is the K-Switch. By tapping on the K-Switch, you can enter a quick edit mode. Here you can easily make changes to your notes by writing out a variety of special commands. In the upper left corner, you'll see a quick guide of all the available commands. Let me also explain them to you one by one. First, circle the part you want to select. And then you can edit it freely. You can use this function to adjust the size and choose the angle. This function is equivalent to the lasso function. If you want to use the eraser function, just draw an X on the part you want to delete. It's so convenient, right? When you draw an N, it will automatically switch to the pen tool. Here you can set your pen color and thickness. Different combinations produce different effects. You can select colors from the palette or use the color picker to extract color from the page. You can even enter a hex code to create your own color combination. To delete a color, simply long press it and click X. Turning on these two switches can help you draw straight lines and regular shapes. It will automatically turn straight. The Auto Shape feature will assist you in drawing standard shapes. Filling in shapes with different colors is easy too. When you draw an L, it will switch to the Highlight tool. The Highlight tool can also adjust color and thickness, and the operation is the same as the Pen tool. You can use the Highlight tool to make the important part stand out. Draw a P where you want to insert the picture. Then you can choose the image you want. This rectangle is the crop button, which can cut images into defined sizes. 
you can adjust the transparency here. If you want to crop a photo according to your own shape, use the freehand tool. One case which is not on, you can also add images from this sidebar. If you want to remove the background from an image, you can click Picture Cutout then Transparent Background. To find the edited photos, tap this smiley icon and find your photo under My Materials. By the way, the Selection and Cutout button also has a similar function. When you have multiple images like this, you can adjust the layers by moving the order of the images. Or you can lock the images together to ensure they can't be moved. If you want to delete a sticker, tap the right icon to delete it. There is also an interesting feature called paper cutting. You can choose a picture you like. Try different folding methods to achieve different effects. Create your own paper cutting artwork by drawing different shapes. Click Next to generate your unique design. You can also find many sticker materials here. Find the materials you like and download them for use. When you draw a T, you can insert text on where you draw. Writing in the text box will automatically turn your handwriting to text. But make sure your device supports handwriting to text. For Samsung, you can turn on this function in the settings. You can adjust text size and color. You can also choose font styles here. If you can't find a font you like, you can upload your own fonts. You will find your newly added font in the imported font list. Killa Notes for Android also lets you adjust paragraph alignment. To keep your notes neat, back to the quick edit mode. You can draw C and V to quickly copy and paste, and draw to select all content for quick editing. These features are useful for organizing notes or mind mapping, right? If you are not satisfied with your work and want to undo or redo some actions, you can slide the icon in the lower right corner to redo and undo. If you want to switch the pages, slide the slider at the bottom to switch to the note page you want. Want to switch notebooks? No need to go back to the home page. Just click this icon to easily switch to another note. These are all the functions you can do with the K-Switch. Isn't it powerful? Now let's talk about the features. Outside the K-Switch control mode, one of them is a tool called the Doodle Pen. This is a special Killa Notes feature, which allows you to create your own graffiti to decorate your pages. The next one is the Shape Tool. You can use this tool to quickly draw lines or shapes. It's convenient for math notes or when creating tables and diagrams. Last cards are very helpful for reviewing your notes. Do you find it difficult to remember important concepts? Then this flashcard function is perfect for you. There are two ways to use it. One, use the lasso tool to select the important parts. Then click more tags. Create a new label to sort your cards. Go back to homepage and click card. Choose the card and rename it to keep your cards organized. Then you can review them individually in the card section. Two, create your own cards. Write your own text or add a picture. Then add a label on the card. Plus, you can insert the card in your notes. Remember this part and don't want to review it. You can click this to delete a flashcard or click delete here to delete it. Another powerful memorization tool is the tape function. Use the tape tool to cover up parts you need to memorize. Go over your notes and try to fill in the blanks. To view the correct answer, click once to see the covered part. In addition to taking notes, the notes can also be used for reading. Go back to the home page, click import in the upper right corner, and you can import the books, articles, etc. you want to read. You can take notes freely here. Click this icon on the left and click this icon on the page. You can add copy, clear, and delete pages. If you want to make it easier to look back on what you're reading, you can create an outline by clicking this button. It lets you view the outline of the content and jump to the relevant pages. If you feel that there is not enough space for notes, you can click paper margin adjustment. Then you can increase the space for note-taking on this page. 
If you want to share your notes, you can click the icon in the upper right corner, then click Export. You can also choose the number of pages. Then you have successfully exported the notes. Let's go back to the home page. First, in this store icon, you can purchase a membership to unlock member benefits. The cost of Kilonote's lifetime membership depends on your region, but it's super affordable. Buying a lifetime membership means you only have to pay once, so I highly recommend it. After unlocking the member benefits, you can use all Kilonote's feature without limits. You can also have more beautiful sticker materials and templates to choose from and use. The ability to import files is also a member benefit. Finally, let me tell you a secret Killin Notes feature. If you click about us, you will find this hidden space. This is where you can put your private notes. I like this function because I can set a password to prevent others from seeing my notes. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can check my other videos on my homepage or leave a comment.